Welcome back to Maxwell Stars Beer Review. Special guest tonight, Horatio and High Stone Lady, whoever this guy is. Because you asked for it. More Kitty. Everyone loves more Everybody kitty. loves Kitty. As for the trout stout, maybe that's what the cat's smelling is the trout. This is the trout stout. Yeah. You told him there'd be trout and he was all over it. He was all over it. Didn't tell him it was a beer. No. <laughs> all right. So, um, La Sabago Brewing's uh, Lake Trout Stout comes in at 5.8 ABV. It's an American style stout. Lake Trout Stout is midnight black with a thick, rich, and clean, creamy head. It is a full bodied stout brewed with oatmeal and plenty of hops to balance the roasted barley. Craft brewed in Maine. It comes from Gorham, Maine, and uh, Heist here picked this up. And uh, where'd you get it? In I don't remember which store in Maine I got it at actually now. It yeah. could have been could have been the gas station, could have been Burby and Bates. Uh, it wasn't Bangor Wine and Cheese. I only got a couple there. They had a really good selection, but I was I was waiting to get some more stuff checked off my list. Anyway, without further ado, let's pop the cap off of this one. It's got a nice little. Uh, getting away. Oh, getting antsy. <laughs> It's got a nice Sabago Brewing Company cap, a little silver outline with their little logo here, uh, which is uh, basically the picture, the front, the bow, the uh, small uh, small um, powerboat. Oh, what do you call that? Well, you recognize that, right? Yeah, yeah. Some kind of a, yeah, some kind of a speedboat. Yeah, a speedboat. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, an old wooden speedboat. Uh, yeah. Pour this out here. No, it's oh, definitely black. It's really black. I'm gonna get some head here. Nope, that ain't happening. Not a whole lot of head to speak of. No, it's it's starting to grow a little. I've got a one finger right here. It's uh, the head's kind of a mocha brown. The beer's kind of a black. Yeah, it's pretty black. That is pretty black. Uh, some ruby tinges to the edges, but for the most part, it's opaque. I'm almost getting nothing. You yeah, see anything I'm through that? Holding it right up to the fluorescent light, I'm getting a tiny bit of brown around the edge. But let me try something here. Yeah, I've got a Gmail. Phone's dying too. Can you turn on the flashlight? Oh, that was dumb. Hey, is it on? Yeah, I'm not getting anything. No, it's, it's like I can barely see a little red dot. I can see some yeah. carbonation once you light it up, but that's about it. Let's see if I can see that. Very like, black. You, you can see it around the edges, though. The bubbles catch mm. the light a tiny bit. Yeah. Other than that, it's pretty, uh, pretty dark. You know, my head's dead. Just send me a message. Yours is doing a little better. Eat reply from Boo by me. All right. Talk about that later. All right. So the head's pretty much died off there. It's sticking to the sides of the glass a little. Though. Look at that. A little sweet sticky, isn't it? No, this is a sweet stout. Hmm. Beat with oatmeal. More like an oatmeal stout, isn't it? It just says American stout on beer advocate, so. Alright, so let's give it a sniff here. Not a strong smell. No. I'm getting like a little bit of a sweet malt taste, like a smell. Maybe I didn't wash my glass out enough from that wire blocker. <laughs> Maybe not. You getting anything? A little bit of a little bit of roasty malt, like on the very back of my tongue as I deeply inhale. Yeah, I'm almost getting like a little bit of syrupy alcoholic sweetness. Yeah. And a, and a roasted malt. It's, it's almost like cough syrup. I'm getting a little soy sauce. Mmm. Kind of be, tends to be where I go with a lot of soaps, though. And kind of like a bit of an like an earthy kind of hop smell. Like a real earth resiny smell. Maybe a little. But it's not really very intense at all. In mm. fact, it's quite mild. Yeah, it's a very mild That's smell. That's very mild smell. You almost can't pick it up at all. Hey, look, the other cat. The other cat. Meet Diego, folks. This is uh, High School Mighty's other key. He's well, the fat one. He's the fat one. He's physically smaller than Horatio, but he weighs, weighs a lot more. <laughs> he's, he's, he's not all fur like, like Horatio is. Horatio's <laughs> giving the evil stare down there. Yeah, he's, he's watching. Oh. Yeah, I know. We're paying attention to the other cat. <laughs> and the beer. <laughs> and not you. <laughs> I'm sorry. You smell the trout, don't you? You smell the trout. All Our right. cats are converging because it's full of trout. <laughs> something fishy going on here. <sighs> All right, now the head's died off to a soil slick appearance. All right, let's give this a taste while there's still time left in the camera. All right. Well, it's a stout. Mm. 
A little bit of earthy bitterness, a little bit of roasted malt, some coffee notes, mm. chocolate notes. Almost nothing to the front of the tongue except for like a maybe a little bit of soy sauce. Yeah, I'm not getting anything until about the mid, yeah. the mid, the mid tongue, and that's basically a roasted, roasted and earthy bitterness. If I just stick the end of my tongue right in it, I get a little, a little bit of tangy, but that's about it. Yeah, and I'm getting this like a an earthy resiny bitterness in the back that lingers just for a little bit, and then it's gone. It's almost it's a, watery. It's a little thinner than I like my stout. Yeah. This is this is the body of a stout that I complain about, where it's. It's heavy but watery at the same time. Yeah, exactly. It almost makes it like, like pop or something. Mm. Oh, yeah. A little bit of burnt, a little bit of burnt malt on the back. It's almost like a little bit of like a chemical quality to that that hop bitterness as well. Like maybe they used a hop extract. What do they say for ingredients? Is it saying anything? I don't know. Do they have to list that on these things? No, they usually don't. Have. Sometimes they do. Especially the smaller brewers. What do we know about Sapago anyway? Not much. Uh, I don't think it's been bought out by Shipyard yet, but I'm not 100% sure about that. Uh, it's kind of like... This is a fairly... Almost like cough syrup and coffee. And this is a fairly well-reviewed beer uh, on the internet. Uh, it, it's not as high up there as, as like the Allagash brews or something, but uh, it's... It, Definitely it's supposed to be comparable to a lot of the other ones. It is. There. It has a respectable showing. It almost tastes like it's supposed to be like a foreign stout. Almost. Well, it yeah. is classified as a sweet stout on uh, mm. on rate beer, so sweet stouts and foreign stouts are not super far off. No. The oatmeal must give it its sweetness, if you will. I'm not getting a lot of sweetness out of this, though. Yeah, I, I'm getting a little bit of sweetness, but it's not the kind of sweetness I really like. This, know, this tastes a lot more burnt than it tastes sweet, honestly. Mm. Uh, I'm, I'm just, yeah, I'm getting this, like, coffee, burnt coffee kind of taste, and it's just really chemical bitterness. Yeah, you're not like it either, do you? Yeah, don't worry, there's no trout in this. No, or is this kind of no trout were harmed in the filming All of right. this beer. I think we're, you want to sit down with this one? Yeah, let's take All a right. break. We're going to sit down with this one, we'll be right back. We're back with Sapago Lake Lake Trout Stout. So, what did we think about this British particular beer? Yeah, hmm? that's pretty much it. Yeah, that's. Pretty sure sums it up, right? There. Yeah, the cat <laughs> doesn't even want to try it. Look at him recoil in horror. Mm. I, we're not recoiling in horror, but uh, <laughs> it, it was a stout, and that's pretty much all I can say about it. Yeah, it's not what I would call the greatest stout. Just like Heist here said, it's. It, it managed to, to ride the cusp of being a heavy heavy beer and a watery beer at the same time. And in my opinion, that kind of doesn't really make it the greatest stout. Oh yeah, you managed oh. to take all the flower pots off the yeah. Dude, cats. <laughs> yeah, at least it's in one piece. Yeah. That's on video. Take it down. All of it down. Gotta love cats. Cats. Alright. <laughs> but what I don't gotta love is Lake Trout Stout. Yeah, like we're it. not loving this one. Um, some like people it. might really like it. It's okay, but it's not what I would call an incredible stout. And I'd almost say, like, there's a tons of stouts out there. I love stouts, and there's tons of stouts out there that are better than this. I don't, I, I don't love stouts, and there are tons of stouts I like a lot better than this. Mm. Uh, I mean, I'd recommend uh, I'd recommend this over maybe the, Nova, like the, the Canadian brewed version of Guinness Extra Stout. I, I would even maybe put this on par with a Guinness, like just your standard Guinness. I, like, in a can. Actually, I actually like really, really like Guinness in a can. I, I think so. I mean, I might even like this a little bit better than Guinness in a can. But that's Guinness not in saying. a bottle without the widget kind of loses it for me. Anyway, this is whatever. Guinness equivalent. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Um, it's so. watery. It's a little burnt. <laughs> it's. I mean, it's, it's got this little bit of like chemical sweet pop. Earthy taste in the back. Well, that's about it. Yeah, it's a shame it's to think that this really and, and McCausen are both oatmeal shouts. Oh God, no! It doesn't stand up to McCausen's at all. What was that oatmeal stout we had last week? The Belfast Bay. Yeah, even Belfast, Belfast Bay. Belfast Bay McGovern's. That's what McGovern's was. Belfast Bay was uh, was mm. a better main oatmeal stout. Yeah, for sure. No, no, I like that. I like that one a lot better than this, and I still like McCausen better than that. So this one here. 
It's like making noise. Yeah, it's weird. Maybe that's a trope. Anyway, I poured some of mine into the stew, because yeah. stew and beer reviews is apparently what I do. <laughs> um, all right, okay, so I'm gonna give this one a three out of five, you? Yeah, three, oh, that's, I'm gonna say maybe even two and three quarters. Two and three quarters? And the cat says meow. And the cat says wow. meow. I think the cat's about to barf. You think? Well, that's what my cat sounds like when she's about to barf. Uh, he's probably just gonna make a run for the door. <laughs> okay. Uh, Oh. Okay, let's okay. Dead Mouse too. All right. Okay. Dead Mouse. All right. So, three out of five, 2.75 for uh, Heist Almighty here. And uh, thank you for watching the Maxwell Stars beer review. Hope you enjoyed watching this review because it was full of pussy. And uh, <laughs> we'll talk to you later.